Hello, my awesome Aries people. I missed you, Aries. I hope you're doing wonderful. Happy Friday to you, Aries. Happy weekend to you. Aries, you want a soulmate reading to check up on the latest energies between you and your soulmate. First, we're going to ask what's coming up for you, what you'll be dealing with facing in your life, and how you're currently doing on your soulmate journey. Second part of this video, we're going to ask about your soulmate, whoever it is you're thinking of concentrating on while watching this video, whether you're currently in contact with them or not. First, we're going to ask how this person is doing at this time and how they are currently relating to you emotionally, what's on their mind, what they're thinking, feeling at this time, especially in relation to you, Aries. Universe, please step in, show very clear and important messages for the sign of Aries, for Aries highest good please universe please show us what's coming up for aries in their life and how is aries currently doing on their soulmate journey what's coming up for aries in their life and how is aries currently doing on their soulmate journey mm, let's see this one wants to strongly show up as extra message mm. Oh my goodness, Aries, you're going through so much. This is you deeply heartbroken because the relationship that you were in, that you were hoping would end up being a lifetime commitment is not working out for you. This is you feeling very heartbroken. The interesting thing is that here's the best card in the whole deck and here's the worst card in the whole deck. You, you're not being dishonest with yourself. You're very honest. You're very open with yourself about uh, your relationship. You're not in denial. You're not trying to give yourself false hopes that maybe by some miracle it's going to work out. You're being very objective. This is how you view your soulmate as not meeting you halfway, not reciprocating, not communicating effectively, not listening to your valid concerns, not expressing emotions, not telling you where you stand in their life, what to expect. You feel so unbalanced in the relationship. Yeah, you feel like you're the only one putting work into it. You feel betrayed. You feel unloved. Yeah, I'm sorry you're going through so much. You really try to be patient and, and have hope that this is going to work out, but you can't do it anymore. And you're realizing that it's just a waste of time, energy. Oh, my God. So it shows very clearly that this person is very slow to action. They realizing, they feel that your behavior towards them is very different now. Like they all of a sudden they want to hurry up and um, do something that they should have done some time ago. You see, this is them trying to uh, correct things. Yeah. Universe, please show us. Hmm. What's coming up for Aries in the life? And how is Aries currently doing in the soulmate journey? A lot of you are dealing with the Leo. <clears throat> also Libra, Virgo. Yeah, too many people are trying to be nosy. Uh, whether it's on their side or your side. Trying to figure out. Trying to gossip. Yeah, be careful who you trust with your intimate details of your relationship because too many people are trying to put their 15 cents in. Uh, Whatever is going on between the two of you is between the two of you. Yeah. So be careful who you trust with details of your relationship because some people like to gossip and stir things up. Yeah. Yeah. You view this person as very stubborn not meeting you halfway, not communicating effectively, not listening. Yeah. You are exhausted. You feel drained. You feel unappreciated. Yeah. You feel that you've done everything in your power to make this relationship work. Yeah. Yeah. You've done everything in your power. Yeah, you have. There's nothing else you can do. You cannot do their work for them. They have to meet you eventually halfway, right? Yeah, you're so uh, heartbroken. You, you, you feel devastated. Yeah, this also brings you up memories of past heartbreaks uh, that you had to endure in your life. Yeah, this is you. You've been through a lot in life. Yeah, you have. You've been through a lot in life and you're finally realizing that 
You cannot carry this relationship anymore on your shoulders only. Yeah, this is you letting go, realizing uh, that this is not working out. Even though you care for this person, you put a lot of effort, energy, time, work into this relationship and it's not working out. Yeah. Oh, you told them what time it is. Yeah, you did. You already told them your great disappointment in this connection and in them. You cut them out of your life, whether you stop communicating or told them goodbye. Um, yeah, this is you. Very guarded emotionally. There are some people that uh, are trying to stir things up between the two of you. Uh, so be careful who you trust. Yeah. Mm. Hmm. Wow, you're going through a lot, Aries. Universe, please show us uh, what's coming up for Aries and how is Aries currently doing on their soulmate journey? Yeah, this person wants to communicate with you. They want to rush towards you. They don't want to wait anymore. They very much set in their ways. They don't like to apologize. They can be stubborn. Um, hmm. You no longer putting work into it, and they realize that your attitude towards them changed. You still love this person, but your back is turned towards this love because you feel your love is not being reciprocated by this person. You feel it's pointless. Yeah, to to put any more work, effort, energy, time into this connection when they don't meet you halfway. Yeah, you finally got drained. You know, to show us what's going on currently with this soulmate of Aries. And how is the soulmate of Aries towards Aries at this time? What's going on currently with the soulmate of Aries that Aries let go of for now? And how is that soulmate of Aries towards Aries at this time? they quiet, silent. This is them going within, trying to figure out how to save this connection or relationship. What to do? Oof, tower moment. They didn't expect to lose you like this. You see this? This is a, like a wake-up call, like a uh, slap on the face. They, this is them, rude awakening. Like, wait a minute, what just happened here? Did I lose Aries? They spying on you big time. So this is them checking up on you through videos like this, private reading, social media, if you have any. They're checking up on you to see what you're up to, what's going on in your life. There's somebody else or not. They're very secretive. So there's a lot that they hold back, don't communicate with you about. Like there's a lot of information that you don't know, that they're not communicating. They're holding back how they feel, what they're planning, what they're thinking. Wow, they don't like how it feels. Uh, not to have you in their life. You see this? This is them realizing that they've made some serious mistakes that they're going to have to correct if they want you back in their life. You see this? This is them realizing they need to fix some things. Yeah. Universe, a lot of you are dealing with Libra, Virgo again, Gemini, Virgo again, again. Universe, please show us. Hmm. What's going on currently with the soulmate of Aries? And how is the soulmate of Aries towards Aries at this time, especially emotionally? What concerns me is I don't see any cups over here from them. No emotions, no feelings are showing up here. Now it shows up. There you go. Knight of Cups. So this person feels like they need to show you some effort. Uh, they need to show you some emotions, feelings. Yeah, they love you, but they don't express the love they feel for you. This is them. They realize how much you mean to them after they lost you. Yeah, they realize it now that they lost you. How much you mean to them emotionally that they love you. This was like a wake-up call to them. They needed to lose you to wake up and realize how much you mean to them. You see, they want to communicate with you so badly. To be honest with you, they try to walk away from you, meaning let you go completely and it's not working. And it's because of how they feel about you. This person really did try to let you go uh, for good and it's not working. No. Yeah, you see, they recognize they didn't meet you halfway, didn't reciprocate, didn't put work into this. A lot of you are dealing with Taurus. Yeah, you see, they're checking up on you. They're not able to let you go. 
This person is worried that somebody else is going to offer you a relationship. And this is somebody new entering your life unexpectedly without you even looking. Remember, uh, Aries, you have free will to decide who you want or don't want to be with. You yeah, see the tower moment twice. This person thinks they lost you and they want to communicate with you. They're watching you. They want to know what's going on in your life. Hmm. Yeah, they lost you because they didn't meet you halfway. Didn't work on this relationship. They lost you. Yeah. Universe, please show. Yeah, you see? So they were in and out of your life, confusing you with their behavior, not being consistent, not communicating effectively, not listening, not expressing emotions. You see this? That's what happens when you see one person putting work into a relationship, the other one does a little bit or nothing. It breaks up. That's what happens when people don't communicate effectively. Universe, please show us. What's going on currently with the soulmate of Aries? Oh, they feel enormous amount of guilt for losing you. So this clearly shows me that they recognize that they've made some serious mistakes. And as a result of those mistakes, they lost you. You see this? They feel enormous amount of guilt, regret. Yeah, you see? This is them feeling at a crossroads, like they need to take action to prove themselves to you. Oh, you told them off. Yeah, you did. You you told them goodbye. You cut them out of your life. They worry. Oh, you told them very honestly, bluntly, your great disappointment in them and in this connection. You didn't sugarcoat. You were very honest, direct. And guess what? They agree with you. They're not going to admit it to you, but they agree with you. They understand that you had valid reasons to let them go. Yeah, you did. Oh, they in love. They totally in love with you. It scares them to feel such deep emotions, knowing that you let them go. You cut them out of your life, at least for, for now. This person is scared. Yeah, they love you a lot. They needed to lose you to realize how good they had it with you. We're going to go into your extended reading, Aries. We're going to ask about this person, but we're also going to ask about the new soulmate that showed up as Ace of Cups entering your life with Wheel of Fortune. So first we're gonna ask about this soulmate's true, genuine, long-term intentions and plans for you. What are they planning long-term? Then we're gonna ask what they currently hiding from you, what they have up their sleeve, whether they hiding it on purpose or can't communicate for whatever reason, but the universe feels you need to be aware of for your highest good. And of course, at the end, we're gonna ask advice for you on how to best handle this soulmate connection at this time. And anything else you need to know about your life, including new soulmate entering your life, new chapters, new beginnings in your life. Also your health, finances, business, job opportunities, family matters, friendships, whatever it is you need to know, they'll show it at the end of the reading as well. So Aries, click on the extended link below this video in the description box below, and I'll see you there. Love you guys.